Welcome back to Ollie's Workshop. So today I'm going to uh, do an electric conversion on my petrol lawnmower, which is down here. Um, I came across this, um, uh, it's an e-bike uh, wheel motor a long time ago. Uh, it did come with a speed controller, but I haven't been able to get any life out of that. So I've bought one off Amazon. Seems to work. Um, it's a 36 volt uh, controller so I'm going to make a 36 volt lithium battery pack um, to power it or two in fact so I can swap them over when the batteries run out. The world's going electric. Um, I'd really like to do an electric conversion on my car but I don't have the time or the money for that so I thought I'd start small and I've done my bike I've got an e-bike now um, let's do an e-mower. Um, be quite a fun project. I've got to work out a way of getting power out of this um, to a, a spinny blade. Uh, I'm going to mount it on the on the platform down there. So uh, I think first off I need to get the old engine off the mower. Right, so the engine's off now. Um, I found this giant bearing, which um, looks like it might be quite fun to use, um, potentially. Uh, so I've got a bit of tube here that will fit the, roughly fit the bearing, and needs turning down ever so slightly. Um, I can weld in a plug each end for mounting the the blade and the um, the drive at the top. Um, sink that into a plate. Uh, it'll probably need some sort of protection to stop any grass getting into it. Uh, may not be the best choice. Um, not fully decided on that yet. Um, got to measure this circle, work out where these these three bolts are. So I'll make a plate out of aluminium. Um, mount the motor, which we've just looked at. Um, uh, the controller. And then I'm planning on doing a belt drive using a XL type tooth belt um, and having measured the speed of the uh, engine which came out about 3000 rpm what you'd expect I think for an engine um, and measuring the the motor rpm that's about 1100 rpm so I'm going to do a three or a one to three uh, multiplication sort of a step up drive So despite that being a non-ideal pour in that um, the the sprue sort of <laughs> wasn't full to the end, um, that's come out okay. I've got a nice solid plate. Um, yeah, there's a few imperfections on it, mostly from probably from the mould. Um, so I'm going to clean that up and turn it into an adapter plate for the for the mower. up a vast amount of swarf we've now got a disc which is um, skimmed on one face completely and partially on this one now this side has got an awful lot of pits and imperfections I'll have to uh, talk to Perry at SW Dweeb about getting the quality of my metal better but um, this side looks quite nice I think I'll use this um, as the upper face and this is the, the lower face of the disc and I'll, I need to put some holes in around here 
So let's uh, measure up for those. Um, so what I've done is I've measured di the diameter. We've got ten and a half millimeter. The larger holes, um, the larger holes were the ones that we used to secure the engine. Um, smaller holes, no idea. Um, so they're ten and a half mil holes, and then I've measured the um, distance between e all, you know, all three. Um, so I've, I've basically got a triangle. I'm going to put that data into Fusion 360, um, and hopefully we'll be able to get out of it a circle diameter. Okay, so we're in Fusion 360, and I've drawn three circles, each ten and a half, along with the dimensions that I've measured straight off the mower. Um, I can use circle, three-point circle, to then pick up come on, on each of the centres of those, and that gives me the circle diameter. Now, to make it so that I can get some XY coordinates out of this. I'll draw a construction line, fix it to the where I've drawn it so it doesn't move, and then I can force each of these circles to be coincident with the construction line. I can then, so these are in a nice straight line, so I've only got one move there. I can get a vertical move, um, dimension off the center there. Uh, I can get a horizontal dimension. These should be exactly the same because they're, yeah, so 98 either way. And then this one is just a tiny bit off 5.667. And it is 101.34, 384. So now I need to put a plate on the mill and see if I can actually get to all of these with the travel that I've got. Right, so I'm going to drill and tap the holes M10 um, using my new tap set. Um, so uh, M10 is one and a half um, pitch. Uh, so diameter minus pitch gives you eight and a half, which is the drilling size. Okay, so I've just offered the disc up. Seems to line up, but we're not quite out of the woods yet. Um, I see I've marked a position on there. This curve in here is a slightly smaller diameter than the disc that I've made. Uh, however, I think it'll sit flat if I just remove a certain amount of material just at that point there. So I think because that's a sort of a complex compound curve, I'll do that with the grinder and then I'll come back. There we are, disc is mounted. Uh, now we just need to make this hole bigger for that bearing. There's a quick look at the material I removed just to get over that bump on the, the lawnmower deck. That's worked quite well. Right, um, I know I should probably have bored this while it was still bolted to the mill, but for this, the odd millimetre here and there isn't going to make a huge difference. Um, so I'm just going to plop it back on and use the, the boring head to centre it up because it's still set to roughly what it was. Must have been a bit deflection in that boring bar because it's uh, walking around a little bit, but there is fine. Okay. All right, just going to press the big bearing in. Put 
little bit of uh, Loctite stuff on there. to make this fit that bearing. So it's running out by about 0 0.1 of a millimetre, just over 0.15 thereabouts. Um, It's about point five, point oh five, fifty microns run out there. All right, so the bearing's 31.8. This is 31.9. So I've got 0 0.1 of a millimetre to remove. And we're running out by 50 microns. So I'll just about be able to clean it up. By the looks of it. Let's just check a little further down. So what we've got down. Same sort of amount. Right. Right, so now we've got this, which is hopefully a good press fit in that bearing I've tried it and it doesn't go in easily now I need to put a plug in the end to um, take the the mower blade gentle persuasion with a hammer and that is a very good fit Sparrow point tap didn't quite reach the bottom or oh, the end of the hole, so I'm just gonna have to finish off with hand tap, which easy said than done. Smaller tap wrench handle there. Ah, come on. There go. All right, so there we are. All that machining, and we've got a plate with a bearing in and a, a rod with a thread in the end. Um. So I think I'm going to leave it there for this time. Uh, next time I will get the motor mounted up. We'll work out how to attach the drive to this. Um, and hopefully spin it up.
without the blade on. Um, uh, yeah, join me for that. Thanks for watching.